Hey everybody, Constabated Burrito Cage back with more Let's Play Zoids Battle Legends. Last time I screwed around for a bit and I finished the. the Republican mission mode. And this time we're going to start a new tournament. So let's load data and I'm going to. crap, which file is it? I believe that it is this one. I hope I'm right. So I don't want this to be like a crappy file. So we're going to do the Chaotic Century Tournament, so you have to pick characters from Chaotic Century. Let's pick... Hmm, who do we want to pick? Is there more? Is that okay? That's sort of it. Okay. Um... Let's be Raven. Raven's cool. And we don't need a partner. So if you want to get rid of the partner, you just pick B. So Rosso and Viola. Red Horn and a Mulga. Not a challenge for us. Maybe a challenge for some. The Red Horn can be a bit challenging. And this is my good. This isn't. Crap! This is not my good file. Okay, cutting this one out. You know what? I'm just gonna cut ahead till I make it to my other file. I'll be back. Okay, here we are back, and I'm on my good file this time. That all the, that other one I was on was also my good file, but this is my amazing file, where I have not one but two of the God subpart, the Ultra Z. So I'm gonna read the description of that. Mobility plus 15, combat ability plus 50, turning ability plus 30, radar scope plus 400, defensive ability plus 100, arms ability plus 50, searching ability plus 120, weight plus zero. This part enables Zoe to obtain strong combat powers. True shit. So on my my lightning sykes is extremely stock as the booster and the stock weapons, I haven't put anything else on it. There's no reason to, because it's awesome how it is. I love the Lightning Sykes. Um, but, it's also just badass looking as always. So let's start this battle. It gives team names, and it is the Ala Baron team. Ooh, fancy. Fancy sounding. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna F shit up. We're gonna fuck shit up. Because... Not only is the combat power, but defensively, um, I mean look how fast I'm going, but defensively is like, I can get hit, and it will not matter. And look at that, I did half of the Molga's health with one shot. I mean, that is some firepower. Die, Red Horn, you're almost dead. Molga is dead. And Red Horn is dead. Look how fast we go. And turning, I mean look at that, look how That's how small of circles I can I run on, even forward. with the boost run. It's just incredible. I mean this file is extremely unfair to anyone to have to fight. I mean look how little health I lost. And I got hit a decent amount, even though it was just by the Mulga's machine gun, so that wouldn't do any mu do much anyway. But, literally, I've put these Zoids on as a computer player and fought against them, and I have a hard time beating them. So, next up is Van Fiona 1, so that's them as children, and Moonbay, with Van and Fiona and their Shield Liger and Moonbay and the Gustav. Gustav is a terrible Zoid for fighting, so I have no clue why they gave it to her, though it is her Zoid, so that makes sense. And the Liger team. Wow, creative name. But, uh... Yeah, we're just going to utterly destroy everything, I'll so you go. get to see me do that. <coughs> I might switch around what Zoids I use, I don't know. Let's see here, first off we have the Gustav. Gustav has a very good defense, as you can tell, as in I haven't really killed it yet. Ah! Die! I'm never, I never really understood why they put Van and Fiona as the same character. And the Gustav has... I forget if it has landmines or it's or if it's get-up attack, it drops landmines. 
I haven't used the Ghost Stab in too, in too long, so... Yeah, Machine Gun... Machine Gun still sucks. Oh. Got down, that's not right. You know what? I feel like I didn't get all the points for that because... I feel like Van and Fiona killed the Goose Stab, which is unfortunate because I don't get the points for it. And that means less money for me. And that means it's going to take me longer to buy a third Ultra Z part, which would be nice, because then I could just fuck shit up even easier. And I have like all my Zoids would be the ultimate one. Okay, Raven as a child and Schwartz. We're going now. We're going now. Hmm. Hmm. So. No, I'm gonna switch around my zoids. So, first step, take some parts off. Second step, change zoid. Let's see here. You've, used, you've seen me use a, my Red Raptor already. So, I have a decent amount. I put I got a Molga recently just so I and put Ultra Z's on it and, <laughs> and fought a battle just cuz. It's like, you get disgraced, you, get, you lose to a Molga. But, um, Energy Liger and Zero Phoenix are like special Zoids, also only unlocked by cheats. Um, they're both very expensive, and yeah. Then the Diablo Tiger Beta is the Daedalus Zoid from the Imperial side. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Gina Breaker, which is makes sense to use because it actually Raven and the anime has a Geno Breaker as an adult. As adult Raven, so Let's see, do I have anything special? Uh, not that, but uh, nope, nothing special. Uh, so yeah, fitting Zoid to use. I actually just started watching the Chaotic Century anime. It's good. I I, I feel like I'm going to enjoy it more than the New Century Zero anime. I did because you know. It's uh, it's got a better storyline. So you start out with the battle against the SS Saber Fang, which is I would say is the harder Zoid in this battle. And uh, it's a lot less noticeable on like floating Zoids, I guess I'll call them the abilities of the Ultra Z because you already have like really good turning and stuff so I don't really like using them on these kind of zoids. No, I'm actually feeling like I forgot to put them on. I'm not positive on that. <laughs> it may just be my uh... I sort of shitty memory on this, but the Raven and his Saber Fang is not a hard thing, because the only difference between that and a regular Saber Fang is it has better health. I'm pretty, I'm almost 100% sure that that is the only reason. And as you can tell, future Raven is better than normal Raven. <laughs> Nothing to me. I just fight wars. Okay, good for you, Raven. You fight wars. And let's see your health. Yay, we did good. We have S rank. We're gonna get S ranks in all of these now. But yeah, that fight took longer than it should have taken. Who do we have now? We have Van and Fiona 2 and Irvine. Let's go. Okay. So you got the Blade Liger and the Command Wolf. Command Wolf Irvine, to be specific. Because it has a different color scheme and a different gun. But hold up really quick. Okay, I did put them on. Yeah, I'm switching Zoids now. Let's see here. Go to this Giga is overpowered as it is. I don't need to fight it with the Ultra Z is on. Let's see here, let's use the Energy Liger. I like this Zoid, it's cool looking. I mean look at that, that's just pretty badass. It has 
as far as the weapons go, it's pretty decent. It has like a uh, long range homing cannon and a machine gun. Both of them unremovable. So those are the only guns you're gonna have on the sword. And also have a booster on it, so let us commence the battle. I'm curious to see how fast I can finish this tournament compared to the last one. I feel like I should be able to take it in two episodes. So let's go with this one, see it. Quick target. Eh, let's go after the Blade Liger, I guess. Darg. I'm not going anywhere, am I? Well, neither are you. Oh. The uh, the energy lighter has a cool looking uh, X attack. As he like uses his horn as a sword, he's like. Whoosh. Okay, but I'm not doing as good as I should be doing in this battle. But look how little damage I've taken. I've been getting hit a decent amount, I guess. Here, I'm just, I think I'm just out of practice with the energy liger, especially in this close range. I'm not liking it. Oh. I got down just because of the shield. You know, I'm going to try and get some distance on these guys so I can just pelt them, I guess. If you would say. Let's see here. Play like I said. Oh, you and your shield. We're almost there. Yay! Where the hell did Irvine go? There he is. Jerk. Does like no damage, but it gets me down. It prevents me from killing you as fast. Yeah, man. This is how you operate Zoids. No, luck had nothing to do with it. That was all skill on my part. We've wasted time. We did waste time. That took too long. Um, yeah, not the best area to be using a <laughs> energy liger in. I guess I'll, I'll probably keep this one on for the next battle so that I can do better with it. Because it does take a bit getting used to with that Zoid. Okay, so we have Irvine once again, and Herman. And they both have Gojulus. There's a white Gojulus and a black Gojulus, if you couldn't tell. And I believe that Irvine and his black Gojulus have a optic camouflage, so... Game giving cheats to the enemy again. Jerks. <coughs> oh well, we can take him. I'll go. So, let's go after the one that's in front of us first. Let's just next attack it. Oh. Die. I command you to die. I said die. And why won't you die? Oh wow. That has a lot more health than uh, the normal Gojos does. I think it has... Probably 4,200 is my guess. Oh, the other one has like 3,000. Think. I'm thinking. Don't move. So, uh, as far as tournaments go, this is probably the second hardest. I don't actually remember. Actually, I'd say it's pretty even as far as difficulty goes between this tournament and the uh, one for the original story. So I definitely wouldn't recommend starting on this one, because uh, as far as this one goes, you will fight uh, this one and the original story tournament, yo, you'll fight big zoids, which, oh, it's that one has a thing on it. Oh, well, let's just shoot it until it dies. Oh, it didn't die. But uh, as far as... For beginners, yeah, it's not the uh, not the best thing to start with. And uh, let's see, we can probably do one more battle. I did a bit better, better, better 
in that one. But yeah, um, I would show off the Zero Phoenix, but I'm gonna wait on it until I'm fighting Big Zoids. Unless I am fighting a Big Zoid right now, which I'm not. I'm fighting Thomas Schwartz and Carl Schwartz. Are the winning tactics? A Dibison and an Iron Kong. Iron Kong. So, um, for this battle, I'm gonna switch back to the Lightning Sykes. Or maybe. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I'm gonna use Zero Phoenix. Why the hell not? Very expensive Zoid, once again. I'm quite fond of this one, actually. Has good guns. Uh. Has that top gun, that only 2 1 for the Liger Zero, and like a uh, scatter shot one. And I also have a booster on this one. Because boosters are important. Going fast is fun. As far as this game goes. I'll go. I mean, look, look at how big my my radar scope as far on this level is. Let's see here. Let's get up high. Uh, the Zero Phoenix, when uh, normal without a booster, will just sort of run. But with booster, it will fly, and you can just sort of fly around for a bit. Because uh, when you just sort of straight run off an edge with a uh, floating Zoid, then it will it'll float and gradually drift down at whatever the uh, vertical free fall time neglecting air resistance would be. I don't know. Because Planet Z is not Earth, so it is not 9.8. Um, but, yeah, this is this is a fun gun to use. These are also homing shots, so see how they're flying in from nowhere, sort of. So you can just sort of shoot those around sometimes if you feel like it. Oh, I missed. He's just firing off rounds like a crazy guy. But the the top gun is actually also homing too. It's not that incredibly homing, but it's homing enough, plus it's quite powerful. So against large zoids, it's very good to use. And yay. We beat that one. And I think I'm gonna end this episode off there. I think I'm gonna switch back to using my lightning size just because it's fun. It's funner for me at least. So let's see what's our next battle actually really quick. It is Vanna Fiona and Irvine again. And the blade liker, but now he has a lightning sykes. Oh, I gotta challenge him with my lightning sykes now. But that will be next time. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my videos. Until next time, this has been Constipated Burrito Cage. Peace out, and have a great day. Goodbye, people.